We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Man. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. So I come from a background working on site at NASA, space program is kind of my roots, computers, all that. Doing this module for STEM with my seventh graders, helping them create what I just love going into space, just really just hits it all home. They each get their own kit. Um, I watch them build meticulously. I tell them pay attention to detail. Um, watching them build meticulously to construct their rocket and then do the little things we kind of prepare. We check wind, we kind of check the environment as, as we would for NASA and launching space shuttles and, and rockets and stuff that I've been involved with uh, firsthand. Watching the kids, and a lot of them have never done anything like this. There's a whole process that we go through to get their rocket built. Um, and in that process, knowing that when they launch, they like, Oh my gosh. And just the look on their faces when they see it take off the launch pad and it just flies up into almost not able to be seen by the by the human eye. And then the parachute deploys properly. The rocket returns to Earth safely. They go rescue their rocket and chase after it. That's why I just love this project. And it really just hits home the parallel of really exploring what you know, God has, has created and allowing us to explore when we talk about space. So this flight and space module for STEM just kind of really just opens their minds to what is beyond. And really, it's even hard to get our heads around, but we know there's beyond. So flight and space, STEM, rockets, got to love it. And I just love being the person to be able to deliver it to these uh, young students. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.